Now we're going to do the MSI installer. Okay, what I want you to do first, we're going to be using the Windows Defender MSI installer for Windows XP. So what I want you to do is we're going to do administrative install of it. For that we're going to use Universal Extractor. You can, so you right click on the MSI and you do Uni Extract to sub here. Okay, so we're going to leave it on MSI administrative installer. And what it's going to do is it's going to extract all the program files from within this MSI. This is um, for better compression. We can also update it. So if you go to App Data, Microsoft, Windows Defender, Definition Updates, Default. In here, you copy your updates from. You can, I can use the Vista ones. So you go to Program Data, Microsoft, Windows. Nope, Windows Defender, Definition Updates, and you use this one here. This. It's going to be a different number for everybody. So we just copy these updated definitions and we replace the ones here. There we go. Now we have our installer updated. Okay, there we go. Okay, before we zip these files, what I want you to do is we're going to edit the, the MSI a bit because after you install Windows Defender, it launches the program and we don't want that really. So we're going to right click on it we're going to edit with Orca and here in tables we're going to look for custom action launch my program please okay so what you can do is you can delete this and you can save it but what we're, we're going to do instead is we're going to create a transforms file a MST a Microsoft transform file so we go transform new transform and we come back here and we'll delete this okay now you go to transforms again and we do generate transform that's going to generate a transforms like with, 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 with this change you know so like I'll show you okay so we're going to save it with the Windows Defender MSI so we're going to name it no launch and we're going to save it with the MSI and we're going to close this and there we have it we have our no launch MST file what this does is it, it is it it deletes that um, you know launch my program please when you merge it you know with um, Windows Defender I'm going to show you how to do that right now so what are we going to do is we're going to compress all the updated Windows Defender installer with the no launch MST in the same archive so okay so there we have our Windows Defender MSI with the MST and the program files all zipped in the same directory in the same archive so what we're going to do is we're going to move it out here and we're going to move it to our silent switch maker you know we're going to replace one that I had already in there so here we have it okay so we've already I've already edited the, 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 the icon and stuff from here the version and the icon in the 7ZSD with the Windows Defender icon and, and version number. So now what I want, so I want you guys to do that. And then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to edit config.txt. Okay, so I'm going to put the name of the MSI installer, Windows Defender. MSI. We have to put the x the dot MSI if it's a MSI if it's a exe you can just put Windows Defender, but since it's MSI, we need to put dot MSI slash qn you can use QB which shows a progress bar but we're going to use slash QN because we want it 100% invisible and we're going to do transforms equals and here's where you put the name of that transform we, we made no launch uh, MST and for precautionary um, reasons we're going to do slash no restart which is a generic you know switch like QN for not Restarting after you, you install this complete. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you guys is GUI mode. You can either use GUI mode one, which if you use GUI mode one, when you double click on the on the self extractor, the exe, it's going to show like extracting archives, you know, or extracting Windows Defender. So if you don't want to see that, you use GUI mode two, which makes it 100%, you know, invisible. Okay, so now we've, we have the icon and info and stuff edited in the SFX. We have our MSI, our silent switch, our transform switch, and our we're telling it not to restart in our config.txe. So now all we have to do is drag and drop on me dot bat by old 1982. Thanks, dude, for this awesome script. I love it. 
and as we can see we have our archive it's already merged the SFX and the config.txt and it's got all our program and MST files in it so now we have our Windows Defender Silent Switch installer already done already made what I want to tell you guys is this is not SVC pack compatible okay in the upcoming videos I'm gonna be showing you guys a, a, a nice trick how to make a you know a, a SVC pack installer but it's gonna be it's gonna install during one, run one's EX that's during first login so so in the next video I'll be showing you guys that